Sri Lanka, you have the floor. Sri Lanka is grateful to the representative on the internally displaced for his assistance with finding durable solutions for the long-term displaced and advice with regard to current problems. In encouraging us to allow safe evacuation of those trapped in the conflict zone, an action that needs no encouragement, he noted that the LTT are preventing civilians from getting away and instead holding them as human shields. We are sorry that some members of the Tamil diaspora are encouraging this appalling behavior, as evinced by a recent statement of yet another supposedly independent NGO that toes the LTT line, the People for Equality and Relief in Sri Lanka, Pearl, that declared the widely reported plans for a U.S. PACOM-led evacuation of Tamils to Sri Lanka government-controlled areas cause great concern among Tamil Americans. In short, these members of the diaspora do not want the international community to work with the Sri Lankan government to ensure that these hostages are free. We note the special representative expressed concerns about the right of the internally displaced to freedom of movement. In noting the need for security screenings, the representative would also recognize the appalling nature of suicide bombing and the habit of the LTT to infiltrate personnel for this purpose. Sri Lanka is not prepared to compromise on security measures and will stand by its primary obligation to safeguard the life of citizens. However, we recognize that restrictions should be in accordance with the fundamental rights enshrined in our Constitution. In his report, the representative mentions various issues that need to be addressed to fully resolve issues of displacement, and I'm glad that we are moving on legal and other matters in this regard. I should note that we regret the inadequate nature of some of the camps set up for those earlier deter uh, displaced and will do our best to improve those conditions. Mr. President, let me also thank the Special Advisor on Genocide for his thoughtful remarks on the subject and his clear understanding of what the term means. Sri Lanka has suffered recently from the misuse of the word. Genocide is an ugly act, but sadly it has now turned into a word tossed about freely by those who take advantage of the horrors of the past. It is right that European nations have felt the need to compensate for that outrageous behavior, though it is a pity that the compensation should have been at the expense of others. But as though to make up for that long-sustained horror, the word is now flung around freely with definitions that include openness to trade as a component of genocide. As the special advisor said, our objective should be not to allege genocide but to identify the precursors of genocide a dispensation that swallows the pontifications of those who use the word to fulfill private agendas should not be encouraged by this council. We are grateful, therefore, to the special advisor as to the special representative for fulfilling their mandates on behalf of the people of the world whom they serve, rather than for the sake of special privileged interests.